What's happening people? I hope you're doing well and living the dream. Welcome to another video. Uh, the channel's growing slowly and slowly, which is very exciting. And it's only even more exciting for me because I've got stuff in the pipeline you guys don't even know. Um, I filmed this car that you're about to watch, um, which you can probably see in the thumbnail. Um, it's a high mileage championship white. I filmed this car last year in the summer through a friend that I knew from work. Um, who essentially told me that, you know, there was another Civic. And this guy used to own a supercharged uh, silver FN2, which I might put in the video, depending on like the quality of the clip that he sends me. Yes, subliminal shots fired, John. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, this car, the reason why it resonates with me and the reason why I love it so much is because it's it preaches and it's the embodiment and the symbol of everything that the FN2 is. This car right now, when I filmed it last year, it was on 155,000 miles. It's now on 160, right? And it is solid. It is solid. I wanted to do some onboard driving shots, but I didn't have the right camera for it at the time last year. And again, this year, it was extremely icy when I was filming it whilst we were servicing it. Um, but you'll see the time lapses of us servicing it, cinematics um, and everything else sit down and take in everything that I say about it, the specs of it. Um, it is not the cleanest and all of that stuff Civic, no. But it's still, it's just, oh, to me it's just great. Like, it is just great. So, yeah. So like I said, I did film uh, an interview with, essentially with the owner, Clara extremely nice person she's such a great like spirit and all that stuff and she she's actually passionate she's passionate about her car too really good to like talk to her and just why she picked the car and everything like that but unfortunately i had this camera maybe for like i want to say about three weeks i didn't know what iso settings were i didn't know what it meant i didn't know about lighting or what it would mean when your camera's on a high lighting setting and you're filming a white car in the middle, like right in front of the sun. I'll show you the products, you will see it. And it's bad. I should have released this video last year and I just didn't because it wasn't a good quality and I, I wanted to do this car justice. I wanted to, 100%. So I came up again to just say like, okay, you know, I need to do a service on my car before it gets its power upgrades, which I will speak about by the way in the next couple of weeks. I will, I really, really will, trust me. At the same time, that car needed to be serviced too. So it was just like, yeah, let's do it. Perfect opportunity to uh, fit, to right my wrongs. So, yeah. Now, this car, like I said, it's on 160,000 miles. Um, it's had a new clutch recently. Um, the modifications are as follows from what I remember, okay? Is 25 mil spacers at the rear, 20 mil spacers at the front. Um, it's sitting on Kumo tires, which are actually extremely decent like very 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 good right if you don't know about kumo tires yeah they're good um it's got dc5 big brake kit at the front um it's sat on tain lowering springs although it sits a lot lower than my car did on lowering springs so that's actually quite interesting um braided brake lines all around uh it's got sub in the boot um it's got a CPL induction kit, not the big ball one, just like a normal one. But again, it sounds amazing. Like when you're flooring it, it really does. Um, it makes me wonder like why I've left it so long for an induction kit. But then again, soon come, that's part of the build. There you go, you got a little teaser. Um, yeah, it is everything. And I'm going to just sit here and preach about it, honestly, because it does, it's done a lot of miles. But it's also been maintained to such a high standard 
mechanically. Sorry, a pigeon just landed on my roof. Bear me one sec. I lost my slide. It's been maintained mechanically so well over its time that it doesn't feel like it's Mr. Beat. It genuinely doesn't. And I'm being serious. Cosmetically, there are things that need to be addressed on it, for sure. As you could probably see, the tape marks on the side where it kept the arch trim. Not the greatest of ideas, but we've all made mistakes before. And it's not something that can't be cleaned off or can't be taken care of. Um, it is, it's just, I don't know what else to say. I genuinely don't know what else to say. And to put it into perspective, yeah, the oil that came out of my car was very bad. It looked like soot compared to the oil that came out of that car. And my car did less miles than that car. Although I don't know what any of that has got to do with any of this. So I don't know if we'll even make it into the video. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just chatting nonsense at this point. It's an awesome car. It even makes me want to buy it. <laughs> I think I've got a problem. <laughs> but no, it was amazing. Shout out to Clara for allowing me to film your car. Um, I'm pretty sure it must be the highest mileage championship white out there. Is that, is that, is that possible? If, if there is anyone with a higher mileage championship white, just at me in the comments, I don't care. <laughs> or correct me. You'd say 160 miles, 160,000 miles, you'd be like, nah, that car's done. But it's strong and it's still quick when you need it to be quick. It sounds amazing. Cosmetically, it could be worked on, but what car couldn't? Even mine with all of them stone chips at the front. Ridiculous. Yeah. Um, you're then also talking about the fact that it's regularly maintained, so it's still strong. Um, like what else are you needing what else are you wanting if there's ever an advert for owning a fn2 for a long term it'd be that it'd be that and let me talk about body body the body condition underneath it it hasn't been under sealed but i was underneath that car for almost like an hour if not more and i'm telling you right now this it's not rusty it's not rusty it's only places where there's very minimal surface rust it's, it's had a it's, it's had a long hard work in life but well maintained life does that make sense i hope that makes sense but yeah no it's awesome but yeah just take it in and yeah peace The turning circle is terrible. The turning circle is terrible. I'll get there at some point. <laughs>